Hello, students of the world. How are you today? Yesterday, we started out with our Seven Spirit of God Bible series. And today, we are going to continue by looking at the Spirit of Wisdom. So, join me as I dive right into it. I am Leroy Daly of Blogging About the Word. On that website and on this YouTube channel, I teach Christians how to better understand their Bibles. I utilize the Word of God to explain the Word of God. I employ it line upon line, precept upon precept, word upon word. Precept must be on precept or else we have confusion and misunderstanding and misinformation in the church. And we have had enough of that. So let's talk about wisdom, the spirit of wisdom, the second spirit of the seventh spirit of God. Now, Job asks, where shall wisdom be found? Job 28, 12. And I tell you where. Wisdom is found with the Lord because the Lord gives wisdom. God gave Solomon wisdom. 1 Kings 4, 29 and Proverbs 2, 6. And it is as such that when God gives wisdom, other people will see and know that that wisdom came from God. And we see this in 1 Kings 3, 28 it says for, i just reading up a snippet from it for they saw the people saw that the wisdom of god was in him meaning solomon to do judgment they saw the people saw that the wisdom of god was in solomon to judge so the people saw and knew that the wisdom that solomon possessed came from god so when God gives us wisdom, others will know. They will recognize it and say, yes, that's the wisdom of God. The scripture said, all the, the, all the earth sought to Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. 1 Kings 19, 24. The entire earth sought to, to Solomon. They gravitated to Solomon. They sought after Solomon. To hear his wisdom. Oh, that's amazing. Um, the scripture told us to, you know, that collectively all the people put together, their wisdom was not as, as much as Solomon's. I can't remember exactly which scripture that is, but I know I found it in the word. It's in Proverbs where the scripture said, collectively, when you look at all the kings of the earth, and their respective wisdom, when you put them together, it was less than the wisdom of Solomon. How great is that? That's a blessing from God. Wisdom is a multifaceted woman. Oh yes, she is. With all our drama. <laughs> Job declares, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And uh, <clears throat> so Job 28, 28. But King David as a different opinion because he added a twist to Job's pronouncement. He says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Job said, it is wisdom. Then David had a twist. He said, it is the beginning of wisdom. And it's not contradictory. You know. Remember, I'm always emphasizing that the word of God is incremental. We learn it in steps. So it's wisdom. Then we learn it is the beginning of wisdom. Which comes first? Is it the beginning or is it wisdom? You won't be able to get that from this Bible study. Because, you know, <clears throat> I'm just looking at points here. But when you look at wisdom, it is amazing. It will blow your mind. It's very, very interesting. So David says that the fear of God is the beginning, the start of wisdom. And uh, we need to remember too that the fear of God is one of the seven spirits of God. And I, I am pointing it out now because I'm going to refer to it later. Keep that in mind. So to make matters worse, 
Solomon went on now to declare that she is a drama queen. Because he says, wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. Proverbs 9, um, 1 verse 20. But even if you think this is, that's why many people cannot understand the Bible. Because before wisdom became a woman, she was a man. In Proverbs 1, before you get to verse 20, wisdom was a man. But by the time you get to 20, she changed gender. She's now a woman. <laughs> it's exciting, really. But when you, when, when you explore it, man, and come away from the teaching of Proverbs and wisdom, you're a different person at the end of it. Totally different person. I'm just teasing you here because I want you to go and dig into this word. Seek. Spend some time with it and learn. You see, I always say, you know, the fun is in the, is in the journey. It's in our discovery. When you explore and you search the word and you find things for yourself, it's the best feeling ever. So dig into the word. Find out what I'm talking about. Yeah, wisdom was first a man. Then by the time we get to verse 20, she switched gender. And for the rest of the Bible, go right through to Revelation. The Bible will describe her as a female and not a man. Interesting, eh? Yep. But not everybody has wisdom, you know. Not everybody has wisdom. The scripture says, Elate, meaning the Lord, he laid up sound wisdom for the righteous. Not just wisdom, you know, but sound, solid, good wisdom for the righteous. Yes, we were not born with wisdom. So nobody can claim that they, they're born in a um, wisdom bloodline. Oh no, we are all on level ground when it comes to wisdom. All on level ground. But not everybody finds wisdom. How do we get wisdom? Well, God gives wisdom, but you know, he doesn't hand it to us like that. He doesn't say, oh, here, Leroy, here's wisdom. Ah, oh, we have to, we have to do our part to find wisdom. So let's go to Proverbs and we will see how to get wisdom. So here, wisdom, speaking as a parent um, and a woman too. My son, if thou wilt receive my words. Remember, <clears throat> whenever time you read the scriptures, ask yourself these three primary questions. Who is speaking? To whom is he speaking? And of what is he speaking? So here, who is speaking? The spirit of wisdom is speaking. And to whom is he speaking? The sons of men, human beings. And of what is he speaking? She is speaking of herself. She spe she's telling us about herself, about wisdom. How to receive wisdom. Who has wisdom. Why we need wisdom. She's speaking of herself. So, bear those things in mind. It helps us to understand this in context when we understand these three questions. My son, if thou will receive my words... My words mean in the words of wisdom. God, remember, wisdom is speaking. And hide my commandments with thee. Remember, I, I always tell you that the, 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 the chief style of the Bible is repetition. So, hide my commandments is the same thing as receive my words, you know. It just said, receive my words and hide them. Yeah, it's just emphasizing it. So that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thy heart to understanding. Yea, if thou Christ after knowledge. This is how you receive wisdom, you know. If you cry after knowledge and lift up thy voice for understanding. If you seek her. If you seek her. Her meaning wisdom. If you seek her. And search for her as a treasure. You see? Seek her and search for her. Same thing. Repetition. If you seek her as silver. And search for her as for it treasures. Then shall you understand the fear of the Lord. 
and find the knowledge of God. And remember, you see how this ties into the other spirit, the fear of God. So that's how you get wisdom. You must seek her, you must search for her. But first, you must hear verse 1 and 2. You receive it and you hide it in your heart. It says, yes, my son, if you will receive my word and hide my commandment with thee. So you're going to hear instructions. Receive it and hide it in your heart. Keep it. And then you're going to search and seek until you find. And then shall you understand the fear of God. And what is the fear of God? Job said it is wisdom. David extended it and said it is the start of wisdom. That's how you find wisdom. All right, let's continue. What's the big deal with wisdom? Why we need it? It is the primary thing. It is the chief thing. Wisdom is the prime principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all thy getting, get understanding. Proverbs 4, 7. So, <clears throat> so it's important. But those are not, but those are not the only reasons to get um, wisdom. And if we look, Proverbs 8, and let me go to 14. And we're still looking at why we need wisdom. 8, 14. Listen to what? Wisdom says about herself. Again, who is speaking? To whom is he speaking? And of what is he speaking? Wisdom is speaking. Speaking to humanity. And she's telling us the reason to get wisdom. Speaking of herself. Giving us the reasons. She says, Wisdom is talking now. Counsel is mine. And that's another spirit of the Lord. And sound wisdom. That's another spirit of the Lord. Wisdom possess sound wisdom, right? I am understanding. Oh my God. Wisdom says she is understanding. I am understanding. Not that she possesses understanding. You know. She is understanding. I have strength. That's another spirit of God. That's might. Might is strength. Wow. So you see, <clears throat> it's, it's the principal thing. So when you have wisdom, when you have wisdom, you have everything. And remember she said, listen, what she, remember what she said in Proverbs 8, 14. Counsel is mine. Soon wisdom is mine. I am understanding. I have strength. That's why it's the principal thing. Because when you go, get wisdom, when you get wisdom from God, you get all the other spirits. All the other spirits come with wisdom. Because she's the principal thing. So, we learn what is wisdom. We learn where wisdom comes from. Why we need it. How to get it. And there's so much more that we could look at when we look at wisdom but it can't be done in this short bible study stay four i'm gonna read i'm gonna read from i'm gonna read a excerpt from my book on wisdom because you know this is the seven spirits of god there is a excerpt here on wisdom wisdom continues to enlighten us at what time she was with the Lord. She informs us that she was with him not only prior to creation, but during every stage of it. As a result, note the importance of the number of times she says, as a result, note the importance of and the number of times she says, when he, and I'm gonna read, and this is Proverbs 8, 27 to 31, the same chapter I was in just now. When he prepared the heavens, I, wisdom, was, was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree 
that the water should not pass this his commandments when he appointed the foundations of the earth then i wisdom was by him as one brought up with him and I wisdom was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of the earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Finally, to whom is he speaking? We find the answer right here. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is the son is to the sons of men. Man, O ye simple, understand wisdom. And he fools be ye of an understanding art. Proverbs 8, 4, 5. Wisdom is important. Seek after it. Seek God to get wisdom. And when we find wisdom, we find understanding, we find might, we find counsel. Because wisdom is a principal thing. But remember that God gives wisdom. Wisdom is from God. And when we get wisdom, others will observe it and know that that wisdom came from God. It's not something that we can hide. <laughs> Solomon couldn't hide his wisdom. Couldn't hide his wisdom. And again, I just want to implore you, um, please support my work. Purchase this book. Uh, link will be in the description below. And an entire chapter in this book is dedicated to the wisdom of God, the second spirit. Click on that link and purchase that book and show your support and love for my work and the ministry. And I would love for you to like this video, share it with your friends. If you are new to this channel, click subscribe. And I encourage you to turn on notification. Hit that bell icon and enable notifications so that when I upload a new video, you will be notified. And I thank you for your time. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. The blessings of the Lord are on you. And I'll see you in another video if the Lord's willing.